Uh, friends, thank you so much for joining me today. It's, it is after a long time. I have not been uh, broadcasting a video uh, sermon for some time because some was not feeling well, but by the grace of God, I'm here today. There is a message which has forced me to share today. It's known as Californians urge to conserve power, reduce grid strain amid record breaking it away. And uh, that message of conserve power, which it is an admonition to Christians. While the world is preparing on one way upon the people of the earth, we should be preparing spiritually on another area. Why? We conserve power. What is the power? And you shall receive power. What is this power? It's the Holy Spirit. We shall receive power. The gospel is the power of God on the salvation to all that believe it. What about Christians for us? But there is a foreigner here in a strange land who has been fined 450 for eating and drinking on a Roman fountain. But who is our fountain? Jesus Christ is our fountain. What have they gone to Rome to do? What have they gone back to Egypt? What have they gone back to Babylon to do? There is an emergency here. And that is must say emergency. We are going to look it deeper uh, to understand the message for this time. Let's pray. Father in heaven, the king of the universe, thank you for this time. Open our eyes, give us thy spirit, Father, give us thy spirit, Lord, that you may remember us, O massive one of Israel. To the end, we pray that you be with us, in Jesus' name. Amen. So, friends, we are going to consider these wonderful messages, and uh, in a right sense, we start by considering from the spirit of prophecy, as much as possible, we need to consider a certain message from the spirit of prophecy, understand what it does this entail. But before we look on that, let's look on uh, this document. What does this message entail for us? California Governor uh, Gavin Newsom on Tuesday urged residents to conserve electricity between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. as the power grid struggles to accumulate increased air conditioner used amid a heat wave. You see, a message by the governor, but if Jesus Christ also is our governor, is our governor. But what has he given us? He has admonished us. Let's see. In a bid to relieve pressure and the state is sustained power green, you some a Democrat asked the Californians to pre-cool their homes earlier in the day when more power is available. But what does Jesus Christ say? We must work while it's daytime. The night is coming when we will not work. Aria, you seek Jesus Christ Aria when it can be found. He is the fountain of life. If you seek him Aria, you find him. You know the Samaritan woman found Jesus at the well. He found him Aria as possible. Aria in the day. The night is coming when we shall not be able to work. You remember when the Pharisees came to Jesus, they told him, A rod will kill you free from this place. Stop your message. That is the time which we are living. We need to work while it is day. The night is coming when we will not be able to work. The governor also suggested suggested people run their air conditions in the morning and keep their doors and windows closed. The doors and windows should be closed to preserve it. I presume that is it. Air conditioning. So you understand now uh, what is here. But who is our fountain? It is Jesus Christ is our fountain. Let's see. Revelation 21 verse 6. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and at the end. I will give unto him that is a task of the fountain of the water of life freely. So who are they supposed to approach to seek for? Is Jesus Christ the fountain of life. They seek him earlier and come and drink. But many are forsaken him. The book of Jeremiah 13 verse 13. O oh Lord, the hope of Israel. All that forsake thee shall be ashamed, and they that depart from uh, from me shall be written in the earth. Because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living waters. Who are they forsaken? They have forsaken Jesus Christ, the living water. What are they seeking solution for? See how these people are giving uh, instructions. Residents to conserve electricity between 4 and 9 p.m. Do you know these times? As the power grid struggles to accommodate increased air conditioner use amid a heat wave. There is an emergency here. There is an heat wave. 
Meanwhile, we can say there is pressure all over. Because nations are in uncertainty, crisis after crisis. But who is agitating all this crisis? Who was bringing this crisis in the time of Job? It was the evil one. What was his agenda? He had an agenda to look for the... Actually, he was searching for the faithful one of God. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans chapter 8 that we are sheep, we are accounted like sheep to the slaughter. We are being searched to and fro. Do you know Jesus Christ was searched by Herod? When the Pharisees, the church, came to Jesus, they were saying, Depart, for Herod is seeking for you. Do you know who Herod was? He was a state leader. What will happen to all these people these last days? There is kind of instructions which are being given here. There is pressure. It will. Shall we keep quiet? So a large class, even of those who look upon Romans with no favor, have every little danger from our power and influence. This influence, this power, danger from our power and influence, the power of Herod. Herod is the state, is the government, that is America, which is being united by Rome and our influence. Many are that the intellectual and moral darkness prevailing during the Middle Ages favored the spread of our dogmas, superstitions, and oppression. Under the great intelligence of modern times, the general division of knowledge and the increasing liberality in matters of religion forfeit a revival of intolerance and a terror. But can we not read the signs of the times? The very thought that such a state of things will exist in this enlightened, great light, intellectual, moral, and religious time is shining upon this generation. In the open pages of God's holy word, light from heaven has been shed upon the world. But it should be remembered that the greater the light they stored, the greater the darkness of those who pervert and reject it. Great controls between Christ and Satan, page 572. So there is pressure, there is heat wave. Pressure, as uh, Pastor Andrew Enrique says, pressure uh, makes diamonds. Pressure breaks pipes, but pressure makes diamonds. So what can we learn here? There is heat waves. But remember this message of it wave. I need you to understand this very well before we consider another message here. What does this message of it waves mean? The Pope Francis came up with his own uh, word uh, known as Laudate Si. And the world is calling for Francis a man of his own word. What does this really mean? But Jesus Christ is the word of God. The Pope has came, come up with Laudate Si. A cook of his own creating to save the climate. So these emergencies are coming. We have having we have been having pestilence nineteen. We are having electricity, water, droughts, all such like. What is on the test? Is the word of God or it's the word of the papacy? The word of the papacy which he has brought is being tested. It is being tested seven times. But what is the end result of this? The end result of the word of God being tested, it is salvation. But the end result of the is word of the papacy, we see what is the end result. It brings persecution. What happened in Babylon, in the word of Nebuchadnezzar, when he commanded? The Pope has also commanded, he has given the word ten green commandments. And the essence of these ten green commandments is the counterfeit, a war against God, counterfeiting the true Bible Sabbath, the 70 days Sabbath, Sabbath commonly called Saturday, and they are substituting with which one? With Sunday, the, uh, uh, a day which was brought upon by man in 321 AD by Rome. So what should we learn? The Pope's word is being tried seven times, but the Bible tells us that the word of God has been tried seven times, but whose word now is being listened to in these last days. So what we need to understand here there is another word which has come in the world. There is a doctrine. There is the Laudate Si, Popus word which is being listened by nations. They are powering this doctrine. Let's see on the screen. This heat wave is on track to be both the hottest and longest for this day and many parts of the West for the month, the month of September. What is coming on September? You some said on Twitter. But remember September, there is an issue of punks. September uh, about the banks settling their uh, areas and money to the Vatican Bank, the largest bank. So let's see what is the agenda here. What is these waves? These are frauds. These are waves. 
these are enemies, friends. We have covered this before. You just go and consider this message deeply as we have shared. But we are heading into the worst part of this heat wave. And the risk for outages is real and it is immediate. The triple digit temperatures throughout much of our state are leading, uh, are leading, not surprisingly, to record demand on the energy grid. There is a struggle here. There is a struggle in nations and people are watching all over these things. So God is also calling his own people to be ready in, a, in a, a time like this as these things are going nation to nation. Not only this state only, but all over other nations. Evil shall go from nation to nation. Jeremiah speaks of this message. And uh, from one coast of the earth to the other. But we are heading into the worst. From nation to nation, there is a struggle. But this struggle here is shutting away the truth. Remember, US dollars find 450 for Italy drinking on a Roman fountain. So it is a struggle against the word of God. It's a, a war against the word of God. Everyone has to do their part to help to step up for just a few more days, he said. You know this step up, what it may, it may lead to, is a decree. Also, there, in Papron, there was a stepping up and setting over uh, an idol which was set in Papron. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were forced to worship. There is also false doctrines. Remember in Papron, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were forced to eat. What? Doctrines. It was eating and drinking in the Papron. What were they eating? They were drinking wine of Papron. They were to be made drunk by the wine of Papron. Papron is fallen, is fallen. These are false doctrines which are being fed by Jezebel and his 454 prophets. Who, those prophets who are eating and drinking at Jezebel is temple. Many have tried neutrality in a crisis, but they have failed in their purpose. No one can maintain a neutral ground. Those who endeavor to do this will fulfill Christ's words. No man can serve two masters, for either he will eat, uh, he will eat the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and they despise the other. You cannot serve God and Mammon, Matthew 64. Those who begin their Christian life of a, a thing, a half and a half, whatever may be their intentions, will at last be found enlisted on the enemy's side. Manuscript 87, August 19, 18 and 7, as you consider much more, uh, as Sister White has given the pens of inspiration. It depends on inspiration. So we are living in a time whereby we are being called uh, that uh, arise and eat. Arise and eat is the message for this time. Arise and eat. So like Elijah, after this crisis and crisis which are coming, there is an emergency here. And after every emergency, Jesus Christ is able to answer this emergency. We need to receive power from heaven. We need to depend, to depend upon God, not upon men. Because these things they are doing, they are alarming people. It is a, 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 a terrible time. We need to hold upon Jesus Christ because we know times of trouble are coming. Times of trouble are coming. Like Elijah, we have to flee for our lives, but we need to be strong in Christ and hide in Christ our refuge only. We will provide our needs for our needs. Let's see. Let's understand here. Uh, what does these things mean? This message, what does this power mean? In Revelation chapter 18 verse 1, and after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with its growth. What does electricity produce? Electricity produces power, and this power, but Jesus Christ has said, I am the light of the world. We need to receive power from heaven. We need to receive the Spirit of God. The Spirit of Christ, the Spirit of God. We need to receive the Word of God, which is light. We receive power from heaven. But here, it must be brought by an angel. And we are also angels, we are messengers who are to take this message from the angel, from the messenger, and convey them as true messengers. It's a message from heaven, which is to enlighten, to enlighten the world with his glory. Did God forsake Elijah in his hour of trial? As God forsaken us in this trials, we all know he loved his servant no less. When Elijah felt himself forsaken of God 
and the man that when in answer to his prayer fire flashed from heaven and illuminated the mountain top what is god saying to this mountain time we are living the mountain represents the church the mountain represents israel god's people the mountain of israel it represents god's people who are to be illuminated god is saying the book of Isaiah chapter 6 arise and shine the message is coming to elijah also arise and eat arise shine arise and eat god never forsook them in this time god has not forsaken his own people fire flashed from heaven and illuminated the mountain and now as elijah slept a soft touch and a pleasant voice awoke him he started up in terror as if he as if to flee fearing that the enemy had discovered him but the picking face pending over him was not the face of an enemy, but of a friend. God has sent an angel from heaven, a messenger light, with food for his servant. Arise and eat, the angel said. And they looked, and behold, there was a cake taken on the coals, and a cruise of water this egg. Imagine, a cake baked on the coals, and a cruise of water at this egg. You remember what if this calls me a cake? Do you remember uh, in the book of Isaiah chapter 6? The Lord touched Isaiah with the calls of fire. It's a message, friends, with a cruise of water at this earth. This is the fountain, water, a fountain. He received the message. But there is another fountain here of Rome, which is of persecution. Yet people cannot understand these things. And they are after. Elijah had partaken of the refreshment prepared for him, he slept again. A second time the angel came, touching the exhausted man. He said with pitying tenderness, Arise and eat the second time, because the journey is too great for thee. And he arose and did eat and drink. And with the strength of that food, he was able to journey forty days and forty nights unto Oreb, the mount of God where he found refuge in a cave. So, we need also to find a, re a refuge in a cave, in a rock. We need to find a refuge at what? At Mount, the Mount of God. We need to find a refuge like Moses. We need to find a refuge like Elijah, in a cave, in a rock, friends. Forty nights. We are about to start a journey. The last journey is not an easy one. We need to appoint prophets and prepare the school of God, which is to enter heaven. Like Elijah was translated, we need to prepare people who will be translated to heaven. Mm -hmm. Not so long. Luke chapter 12, verse 38, And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. The angels flashing from heaven, the messengers coming. Are you awake? The Lord is asking, Shall we find us awake, or shall we find us sleeping? A message for you and for me. Shall we find it? We need to be awake. We need to awaken our brethren because the time is of essence. We need to be awake. There is an emergency here with conditions. With conditions. We need to conserve the power we have received and share it with the universe. We need to give the Israel a message like Elijah. We need to warn them and not and not fear the consequences. We need to leave it everything with God. Let us, uh, let us arise and eat. Take the scroll and eat and feed the house of Israel. Is the message of admonition. Why? Because men are eating from Papua. Men are eating from Rome. Men are eating from Egypt. From Rome. From the Papas. Not eating from the fountain. Jesus Christ, the fountain and the water of life. Where shall we eat from? We are supposed to eat from our master. From Jesus Christ who shall feed us. Who is able to feed us. So the danger we are having today is that man is becoming our conscience. Man is giving out the Lord the sea and ten green commandments above the word of God, above the ten commandments of God which he has given from heaven. Who is this man the world is following? We live in a troublous time. There is pressure of removing even the foundation which was laid by our forefathers. There is great pressure. But we need to stand and be counted. We need to stand because the Lord is on our side. Do not follow what the world is following. Who are 
want to protect their common home so called are, are they gods so friends it's a message for us to consider diligently and be awakened because the darkness has covered the earth and gross darkness the people let's see here we need to be awake we really need to be to be awakened and understand the signs of the times Californians urged to conserve power, reduce grid strain amid record-breaking heat wave. California, do you know what was happening in California? There was fires. Was these fires a test of Laudato Si? The Pope is what? Purified seven times? Let's see. Before we consider that one, below there's words of uh, this government of California. It urged Californians to turn their thermostats up to 78 degrees by 4 p.m. And refrain from using large appliances such as washing machines. Okay, what does this mean? Uh, let's read from Spirit of uh, Inspiration because this is the darkness, friends. From 4 p.m. to 9, it's heading to night time. The night is coming, friends. From 4 to 9, it is night time. So, as we are going closer and closer to the breaking of the day, we need to lessen those things which are becoming heavy to us so that we can run the race. The race is just before us. We need to run and become lighter. Why? The warfare is becoming so much strong in these last days. The, in the vision of Acts chapter 16 verse 9, there is a vision which appeared to Paul in the night. There stood a man of Macedonia and prayed him, saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. So here, the government is also saying, help us, we want to preserve this, but they are preserving the perishing. Why not look for that which is not perishing? Why not lay our treasures in heaven? So aggressive warfare is before all who create the truth. We are to make and found progress and improvement in carrying forward the work that most of man is privileged to do under the command of the great general of armies. So aggressive, aggressive warfare is before all who create the truth. There was a warfare for Elijah. There is a warfare here even at forest time because the teachings of Egypt were approaching Macedonia, were coming to Macedonia. The preachings of Egypt, the doctrines of Egypt, sun worship was coming to where? To Macedonia. Doctrines and philosophies of Egypt were coming to Macedonia. There was a need of the word of God to set people free. People need to do away the things of the world and look to heaven. Where there is strength, they will be strengthened. Aggressive warfare is before all who can the truth. We have to make and found progress and improvement in carrying forward the work that mortal man is privileged to do under the command of the great general of armies. The messenger, the angel from heaven is commanding, take, eat, arise, and eat. He can drink. God sends his angels as ministering spirits to go before the true worker like Elijah. And unite with him. The truth is to work our arts, to work our arts by the Holy Spirit is power. We receive power. But what are these people receiving? They are receiving power. They are conserving power. Which power is this? Actually power. Whose power? Now let us see the power of Francis to reduce greed strain. To conserve power. But we need to conserve the heavenly power and know the time of probation is here. These messages should be awakened us. We are to call upon those who know the truth to enter into the work of cooperating with the angels of God. Let's combine, let's look for others. Let's form a group of people and go forward and work. While these people are looking for things, things of the earth, let's prepare people for the second time of years. We are to be, be we are to be discouraged at nothing. We are to hope for everything in you, moral advancement. We are to hope for everything in moral advancement. In spreading the knowledge of God and Jesus Christ, our Lord, like Elijah, we are to call upon the Lord in every emergency, at every step. But what are they calling for? Governors and leaders? Is there a solution in this? Let them return to the Lord. Living principles are laid down in the word of God. Why do not believers read a purpose to a purpose? and okay why do they not read to a purpose and okay why do they not appoint themselves missionaries missionaries are needed like elijah go forward and approach jezebel and the heart we need those who can approach like john the baptist we need those who can approach a and who 
and Herodias who were doing uh, and lawful things. We needed families taking away the freedom of the people. They were even taking away their wives. You know what Herodias was doing? Do you know what Herod was doing? That is church and state, pride and the state. The church and the state they were doing. Do you know what in the time of Israel was happening to Naphod and Isavania? That is freedom was at stake. We need families in Australia, not not men and uh, women who wish to be carried, but workers, wise men who can man who can manage. We want those who can uh, lift with us. What? Lift the truth. Give it the truth wings. The three angels' message is flying in heaven. Lift the truth. Our uh, little the world is broad and deep. We are to do at, uh, unto others as we will wish them to do to us. Let us in 7, 8, 8, 18, 89. So let's be awakened. Arise and eat. Arise, shine. Come to Macedonia. Doctrines of Rome are coming. Around that sea, which is against the scriptures, is coming. Doctrines from Rome. They are warring against the truth, against the word of God. Shall we not be awakened? Friends, we need to be awakened because there is great danger in the world because of these doctrines. Now that the sea and it is ten green commandments are against the Sabbath of the Lord. Because now that the sea are doctrines from Rome, which is giving Sunday. But the Lord has commanded us to keep the seventh day Sabbath. It's never Jewish. It is the Lord God of heaven is Sabbath for all creation, for all humanity. Notice what the Pope is giving. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 12 and 13 is a call to repeal, to repeal like Nehemiah, the old Sabbath, not the Sabbath of the Pope. No, friends. Now that you see are doctrines of Rome, are doctrines from uh, Egypt, which are coming to Macedonia, which people are saying, come over, the people of the light, the people of the book, come over and help us. Shall we not Israel and awake and assist the people? Yes, we need to be awakened and assist the people as this darkness is uh, increasing. Dense darkness which is covering the people. Let's see. Romanism is now regarded by Protestants with far greater favor than in former years. In those countries where Catholicism is not in the ascendancy, what is happening here? What is extending? What is the heat wave? Do you know what waves to do? It will record breaking, increasing in strength, increase influence, gaining influence. Romanism was increasing in the time of Macedonia. Doctrines are from Rome, doctrines from Egypt. Doctrines from Egypt in this time of sun worship. And these image worships are increasing these last days. Romanism is now regarded by protesters with far greater favor than in former years. This is the danger. What was this young woman doing all this? What is he doing in Rome? He was eating and drinking doctrines from Rome. He was not eating the flesh and the blood of Jesus Christ, that is the Passover of Jesus, the Word of God. No. What are these people feeding? They are feeding on Johnny, uh, what is it called? James Webb, Telescope. That are feeding on the King James Version Bible. They are feeding from uh, NASA and such like things of the world. They are feeding on uh, this. They are not conserving time. Romanism is now regarded by Protestants with far greater favor than in former years. These doctrines are returning seven times. What will happen next, like in the time of Nebuchadnezzar? Will not God's people be taken uh, to, the fun, to the finance and it's being tried by whose word? By Pope Francis's word? In those countries where Catholicism is not in the ascendancy, spreading like wildfire, like waves. And the puppies are taking a concentrated course in order to gain influence. These are the true waves. Uh -huh. There is an increasing difference concerning the doctrine that separates the reformed churches from the papal hierarchy. The opinion is gaining ground that after all, we go to differ so widely upon vital points as has been supposed, and that a literal convention on our part will bring us into a better understanding with Rome. The time was when Protestants placed a high value upon the river of concerns, which had been so dearly purchased. They taught their children to uphold poverty and the head to seek harmony with Rome will be disloyal to God. But how widely well different are the sentiments now expressed? The defenders of the papacy declare that the church has been maligned, and the protesters were inclined to accept the statement. Many urge that it is unjust 
to just the church of today but the abominations and absurdities that marked our reign during the centuries of ignorance and darkness when the Bible was suppressed. That is the blood, the flesh of Jesus Christ. What are they eating? From whose fountain? From Rome, fountain of Rome. The excuse are horrible cruelty as the result of the paparism of the times and the belief that the influence of modern civilization has changed our sentiments. Have uh, these persons forgotten the claim of infallibility put forth 800 years by this haughty power? How can she renounce the principles which governed her course in past ages? Get controversy between class and Saturn, page 564. Friends, conserve the time. Awake, awake in the church of God. The call is coming from Macedonia. Come over the air pass. These doctrines are increasing mm. all over the world. Shall not God is going to be awakened? So, friends, let's be awakened because the time is fulfilled. Believe the gospel, friends. Also, here, the words of the Lord are pure words. Psalms 20, verse 6. The words of the Lord are pure words. A silver tried in the furnace of earth. Here, five, seven times. Daniel chapter 3, verse 19. Also says, Then was the Nebuchadnezzar filled full of fury, and the form of his vigils was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was worthy to be eaten. So, record breaking it with. What is coming next? Do you see what is coming to the people of God? Now that you see is the words of Pope Francis, but what does the words of the Lord God of heaven say? They are pure words. But what is Laudato Si? These are timber. This is good. This is hay. Friends, Nebuchadnezzar, the Pope is going to be with fury. He's going to be angry. The dragon is going to be angry with the woman, with the true church of God. The remnant who keep the commandments of God. But the world is keeping the green commandments. The commandments of Pope Francis. And the world is becoming fury. The world is becoming angry. As the book of Revelation says, the world is angry. Lift up the trumpet and loud it ring. Let the face voice be heard to the nations. It was a panel seven times. Whose words are these being tried? The words of Nebuchadnezzar, the words of Pope Francis, why the background? Why is it? You see a fine here? US tourists. You know what is US tourists? These were Protestants protesting against Rome. But where are they eating? They are eating and drinking doctrines flesh and meat of where? Of Rome. Doctrines of Rome. The Passover of Rome. Uniting with Rome. Conserve power. Let us eat and drink. Elijah cannot eat from Rome. Elijah cannot eat from Jezebel. He's the like the 450 false prophets and the prophets of the grove. He cannot eat from Rome. No. What are these doctrines of Rome? Let's see here. The doctrines of Rome here is that uh, imagines a lot. California's grid operator issued an emergency alert on Tuesday afternoon advising residents to reduce power consumption between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. Do you know what this means also? This is a degree of Nebuchadnezzar. This is a degree also of Rome. It was issued. Let's see history. Terror for paid labor from the night hour, 3 o'clock on Saturday afternoon till sunrise on Monday. And its authority was declared to be confounded by many miracles. Do you know the miracles of Nebuchadnezzar of eating a pan seven times? A command was given, you must do this. These are mandates of, uh, of uh, the mandates of Herod. But Jesus said, go tell that fox, I work today and tomorrow and cast out the devils and the third today I will be ready, perfected. See the quotation as it is. In Scotland, as in England, a greater regard for Sunday was secured by uniting with it a portion of the ancient Sabbath. There is a mingling here of truth and error. Uniting truth and error. But the time required to be kept only varied. An edict from the King of Scotland declared that Saturday from 12 at noon was to be accounted holy. You this setting aside of 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. What is this mandate coming from? These are the DNA, this is the DNA of Rome. And that no man from that time till Monday morning should engage in worldly business. More pages 292-91. See the quotation. GC page 577. You see? Focus on Lord Adelsi came to Washington with 
can do great good. Focus on the adult, adult. What should we focus? Focus on the word of God, the good tidings from God. But these tidings are coming from Rome. Cardinal Gregor is bringing tidings from Washington. The danger in America is great darkness. Cardinal Gregor urges students to take steps for environmental justice. Students, the three April boys, where were they eating from? From God. But in Papro, they said, no, we cannot eat and drink from Papro. No, we eat from God. Both to youths for climate. Education should foster care for the environment. Those are doctrines of Papro. Uh -huh. Who is giving these words? The word of Francis a man of his own word. But the Lord has given his word. You see what the message here is? Seven times it was. What does this teach us? Vatican School for a Cultural Revolution to fight climate change. You see what is coming to call these people? We are going to be fought there on. The words of Nebuchadnezzar is to test the faithful people of God. The words of, of Francis are going to test the people of God. Papu is called for ecological conversion rooted in common good. Rooted in whose words? The words of God or the words of Pope Francis? Who should we obey? Obey God. Jesuit mission. The mission of Jesuits is this the gospel now? Uh, Psalm 68 verse 11. The Lord gave the word. Great was the command of those that published the truth, the word of God. That is, people were eating at the fountain of who? The fountain of Rome. Friends, you need to be awakened. You need to awaken others to their sense of danger in these last days. Friends, last but not least, as I went down, let this message be received by many. There is a danger here. Let's see. Daniel chapter 8, verse 25 to 20, chapter 25. Huh? And through his policy, the policies of Rome, these are the policies which have been uniting through that era, uniting through Sabbath with the false Sabbath, the cultures, religions uniting, uniting of Sabbaths, a day of rest. They are setting aside of these things. This is evil. These are 450 false prophets and the, and the final prophets of, of Jezebel who are eating from Rome, from the tidings of Rome, from another sea, that are eating from the word of God. They are setting about boundaries. Let's see. Through his policy, through the policies of Rome, the Pope shall cause crafty to prosper. I don't worship crafty, which craft and such like in his heart. And he shall magnify himself in his heart against God. By against his, uh, himself in his heart magnify. But we should magnify the law of God. Isaiah 42. And by this shall destroy men. He is going to destroy God's people. You see what was happening to Daniel, Shadrach, and Meshach when they were eat, uh, rejected to eat in the papro? By this shall destroy men. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes. Who is the prince of princes? Jesus Christ is the prince of princes, the prince of peace. But he shall be broken by Jesus Christ without end. But it is as it will. We see by the event what this so much posted lengthy and moderation of the Romans was confined. Enemies to the liberty of all nations, having the utmost contempt for kings and monarchies, looking upon the whole universe as their prey, their grasped with insatiable ambition, the conquest of the whole world. They seized they seized indiscriminately all provinces and kingdoms and extended their empire of all nations in a world in a word, they prescribe no other limits to their vast projects than those which deserts and seas made it impossible to pass. The Orient Ancient History Book 18, Section 7. Friends, this is the true it waves. Shall we not awaken God's people? We need to conserve time while it's today. We need to awaken God's people. Those who are drinking doctrine from Rome, we are not see. The climate agenda, it is evil. It is a doctrine of Rome. Should we not awaken Elijah? Elijah, awake and feed the people of God the truth in this time. Awake! Oh! Awake! The message coming from heaven of Revelation 18 is saying, Come out of Papron, for our time visitation is about to come. For God has remembered our iniquities. He is afflicting himself against the God of heaven. There is an emergency. Awaken God's people in such a time like this. Oh, friends, let's be awake. As I went up, friends, as I went up, Go and consider these smart messages. Those who are touring Rome and going to eat from Rome. The, the book of Proverbs chapter 7, Proverbs chapter 7, sees a young man void of understanding. Those who are who don't understand in these last days, as Daniel chapter 2 says, 
those people are not wise. This is a young man who is going to eat from a woman who is an Arab, an Arab church, an Arab church who has made a ring with the world. This is Rome, which is dreamy. This is Jezebel, wandering in Asia. There is an emergency here. Do you not be connected to Jesus Christ, the fountain of life? Praise, let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for this hour. You have spoken clear. Draw your people to yourself, be you appreciated. Prepare us for the second coming. In Jesus' name we pray that live. Amen. May God bless you and thank you for your time. Awaken more people. The Sunday hero is coming to force people. A decree is coming. We see from these green commandments what is coming. We see from Laudate see what is the end result. Is Sunday worship by law, which America, uh, that is uh, uh, Ahab, is about to enforce. That is the decree which Herodias, uh, Herodias, that is Rome, is forcing over America. We have already covered that one. The degree is coming, and Herod is about to enforce it. What will happen to Elijah? Elijah must free, friends, be awakened. In Jesus' name, amen. Goodbye, and thank you for your time. Evangelist King Osiemo, contact me, and thank you for your support and your prayers. Peace.